No, this is not. Yo, you need to eat. Like, you're about to die. Look how skinny you are. You are skinny. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> so funny. Hey guys, quick no intro. So this is how you join our family here and this is how you do it. If you want to do it, check it out. Also, we're on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for the support. Peace. قيما لينظر بأسا شديدا من لدنه ويبشر المؤمنين ويبشر المؤمنين الذين يعملون صالحات أن لهم أجرا حسنا ماكثين فيه أبدا وينظر الذين قالوا اتخذ الله ولدا ما لهم به من علم ولا لآبائهم كبرت كلمة تخرج من أفواههم إن يقولون إلا كذبا وإذ قال موسى لفتاه لا أبرح حتى أبلغ مجمع البحرين أو عندي هكبا Alright guys, I really want to share something with you guys that I posted. I was like, when I first saw it, because I had no idea about this. It's called El Barzakh. Okay, as usual. But then I gave you a yes or no. And then I gave a whole long hadith about Barzakh. Okay, guys. I also wanted to say I'm currently reading this book. I love it so, so, so much. I recommend this book. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the love you guys gave me for the video about uh, what France is doing. So thank you for showing me so much love and thank you for supporting us. On the quiz, one of the questions were, what is Barzakh? And the options was a mosque, a sect, or the place after death until judgment day. And most people actually voted for Barzakh, uh, for a place after death before judgment day. 362 people voted for that so I actually never ever ever look at who answered what because these quizzes are for all of our benefit and knowledge and I don't want my ego to like be in the mix so I just don't look at who said what because I don't care I just care that the right answer has the most percentage and it always has so alhamdulillah but I never look and see who the voters are so a lot of the times when you guys do these quizzes you text me and say oh uh, my bad I actually didn't know that and I'm just like I didn't even I was I wasn't gonna know if you didn't tell me so just letting y'all know that what is meant by al barzakh is the period between a person's death and his resurrection on the day of resurrection. Whoever dies a Muslim obeying Allah will be in a blessed state, and whoever dies a kafir disobeying Allah will be punished. Allah says, The fire, they are exposed to it, morning and afternoon, and on the day when the hour will be established, it will be said to the angels, Cause Fir'aun's people to enter the Severus Tournament. Chapter Ghafir, verse 46. Pharaoh's people are the wrongdoers because the biggest wrongdoer of all time is Pharaoh. Pharaoh. <laughs> Wouldn't want to be ya. So I'm going to read the hadith for you guys. It blew my mind, so I had to share it with everyone. And so here we go. The punishment vary according to the sins committed. A hadith was narrated in Sahih Bukhari, which describes the torments of Al Barzakh, which befalls some of those who committed major sins. It was narrated that Samura ibn Jundub anhu, said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam often used to ask his companions, Did any of you see a dream? So dreams would be described to him by those who Allah willed to speak. One morning, the Prophet ﷺ said, Last night, two people came to me in a dream, 
and woke me up and said, let's go. I set out with them, and we came across a man who was lying down, with another man standing over him, holding a big rock. He threw the rock at the man's head, smashing it. The rock rolled away, and the one who picked and the one who had thrown it followed it and picked it up. By the time he came back to the man, his head had been restored to its former state. Then the man who had thrown the rock did the same as he had done before. I said to my two companions, Subhanallah, who are these two persons? They said, move on. So we went on and came to a man who was lying flat on his back with another man standing over him holding an iron hook. He put the hook on the man's mouth and tore off that side of his face to the back of his neck. And then he tore his nose and his eye from the front to the back in a similar manner. Then he turned to the other side of the man's face and did likewise. No sooner had he finished the second side, but the first side was, was restored to its former state. He went back and did the same thing again and again. I said to my companions, Subhanallah, who are these two persons? They said, Mu'an. So we went on and came to something like a tanur, like a big oven lined up with clay, usually used for baking bread. I think the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, in that oven there was much noise and voices. The Prophet, peace be upon him, added, we looked into it and saw naked men and women, a flame of fire was reaching them from underneath. And when it reached them, they cried out loudly. I asked them, who are these? They said to me, move on. So we went on and came to a river. I think he said, red like blood. In the river, there was a man swimming. And on the bank, there was a man who had gathered many stones. Whilst the swimmer was swimming, the man who had gathered the stones approached him the swimmer opened his mouth, and the man on the bank threw the stone into it. Then the swimmer carried, carried on swimming. Each time he came back, he opened his mouth again, and the man on the bank threw another stone into his mouth. I said to my two companions, Who are these two persons? They said, Move on, move on. We went on and came to a man who had the most repulsive appearance imaginable. Beside him there was fire which he was kindling, and he was running around it. I asked my two companions, Who is this man? They said, Move on, move on. So we went until we reached a garden of deep, dense vegetation, with all kinds of spring and colors. In the midst of this garden was a very tall man, whose head I could hardly see because of his great height. Around him there were children, a great number such as I have never seen. I said to my companions, Who is this man? And who are these children? They said, Move on, move on. So we went on until we came to a huge garden, bigger and better than any I had ever seen. My two companions said, Go up. We went up to it until we reached a city built of gold and silver bricks. We went to the gate for it to be opened. It was opened and we entered the city where we found men on one side of their bodies more handsome and the most handsome person you have ever seen. And the other side was uglier than the ugliest person you have ever seen. My two companions ordered those men to throw themselves into the ri river and there was a river flowing through the city and its water was pure white. The men went and threw themselves in the river and when they came out, their ugliness of their bodies was gone and they were in the best shape. My two companions said to me, this is the paradise of Eden. And that is your place. I looked up and saw a palace like a white cloud. They said to me, that is your place. I said to them, may Allah bless you both. Let me enter it. They said, for now you will not enter it but you shall enter it one day. Why am I crying? SubhanAllah. Whenever I think of the Prophet Sallallahu I always get like this. SubhanAllah. Alhamdulillah though. You shall enter it one day. I said to them, 
I have seen many wonders this night. What do all these things mean that I have seen? They said, we will tell you. Here come the answers. <laughs> the first man you came across whose head was being smashed with a rock is the man who studies the Quran and he neither recites it nor acts upon it and then he goes to sleep negle neglecting his obligatory prayers. The man you came ac across whose mouth and nose were being torn from front to back is the man who goes out of his house in the morning and tells a lie that is so serious that it spreads all over the world. The naked men and women whom you saw in the structure that resembled the oven are adulterers and adulteresses. The man you saw swimming in the river with rocks thrown into his mouth are the one who consumed usury, riba. The ugly looking man who you saw kindling a fire and walking around it was Malik, the keeper of hell. That tall man whom you saw in the garden was Ibrahim, and the children around him were the children who died young in a state of fitra, natural state of mankind, before the age of becoming of age. Some of the Muslims asked, O Messenger of Allah, what about the children of the Mushrikeen? He said, and the children of the mushrikeen too. As for the men who were half handsome and half ugly, there were people who had died, who had mixed a good deed with another deed that was bad, but Allah forgave them. I should call my dad. I actually haven't spoken to my dad in such a long time. I feel like he's going to answer though. Hey, Pops. Hey, Pops. Hi, good luck. Oh, yeah, good luck. Alhamdulillah, tack, det går bra. Ha en fin dag. Ha en vecka. Hej då. Okej, det här var kul. That was cute. I'm gonna call my mom. Y'all know her. She's my cutie. Y'all already know, that's my friend. Hello, salamu alaikum. Chone. باشه ده توش که ده که منه لامتی کلی تا کی دی دل 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 یا 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 this what the hell this is gonna give you no this is not yo you need to eat like you're about to die look how skinny you are you're skinny <laughs> really no. <laughs> so Mukbang. So that the block that I turn dark and is big window and is one person. Hi guys, Salaamu Alaikum. It's currently the next day. Um, we're gonna do an interview with the uh, Indonesian sister. Her name is Nadia. And she has a show called Ask the Revert. And today we are going to be on it. So I'm excited. I'm a little nervous because it's alive on Instagram. And it's also gonna be saved after. So. I hope no mean people are there because I can't handle it. I feel nauseous already. So yeah, I'm just gonna set up my phone and camera and stuff, so... Bye. Hi baby, I can't really show my face because I just finally took off my uh, hijab because I'm sweating <laughs> through my uh, jilbab right now. Por qué? Um, I was so nervous about the interview. You with, did good. With Nadia, we did so, like, it was so easy. Yeah. 
I had so much fun. How did you feel about it? You like it? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. First time experience with a live uh, interview. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. If you guys want to see it, tell them where to find it. The link is in my uh, Instagram. <laughs> just look at my story. But or if you're wondering, just ask me. I'll send you the video. It's gonna be up. So they do a new guest every week. Dawood Kim has been there, Jaydeen has been there, Khalid Imeri has been there, and now we have been there. Alhamdulillah! High five! High five! Yes, daddy! See you guys later. Hey! What? The lift, the banana? Yeah. That's a good effect. That's a good effect. That's a good <laughs> du let you looking at it? Are you kidding? You just saw me over back here. That's so me. Sana? Fajr time. I know I look busted. <laughs> look at the outside. So, so me. Just yeah. you want to be on camera? Yes. Hola. <laughs> Alright, let's go 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 Mekudo. He's trying to kill me, man. <laughs> so we just prayed and now like I was like, oh my neck kinda hurt. So he was like, okay, I'm gonna do this thing he saw on YouTube how to like crack a neck, <laughs> so he's gonna do it. <laughs> I made a thumbnail. <laughs> Better, huh? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Two. Three. Anything? No. Oh. I drew here. Did I? Yeah. Two. Three. Ow! What? I kind of felt that in my spine. Really? I think so. Break my neck. So you go to the guillotine. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. Fun. Bye, senoritas. Oh. <laughs> Bye, senors. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and that was all we had for now. Let us know what more content you guys want down in the comment section and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel if you already haven't. Love you guys so much. Thank you for your support. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.